also with Bicosi.com is here. Bicosi.com is an American website uh, with the biggest collection of chunky yarns in the United States. And we are located in Holland, Michigan. So if you're local, please stop by at our office. We will be happy to show you all our yarn. Today, I will be promoting our uh, new yarn. Uh, it's plush, um, plush yarn, uh, velvet yarn. It's very plushy, it's beautiful, and uh, it's now very stretchy. Our old yarn was uh, beautiful, but it wasn't stretchy. This guy is very stretchy and beautiful. So today we will be making this beautiful purse. And uh, this purse will uh, take you only one pound of uh, our velvet yarn. So uh, we have a lot of uh, beautiful colors available. So we have hot pink, very popular. We have this beautiful blue color. We have beautiful misty green, a kind of minty color. Also navy blue and gray and uh, olive. So, uh, and of course this beautiful lilac. So uh, you can see I attached a little pompon. It's like a baby pompon what I had. Uh, in my drawer, you can attach any pump on pump on, or you can use it without pump on too. So the one of the previous videos, I actually showed how to make a purse in a different pattern. Uh, you can see it's a little bit different. This is the mustard. We have this color too, and this is olive. It's the same purse only inside out, and we also have beautiful yellow color and baby pink. So you can make these purses with our velvet yarn. All these purses are for sale in our website. They're only $25, guys, 25 and 30, because uh, I made them for the video, and now they are for sale. Like this gorgeous uh, uh, purse is only $30. So you can go to our website, uh, pre-made blanket and more section and find those. And this one will be there too. This one will be $35 each. So you can just purchase them or you can get some of our, our yarn and then make a blanket, like I'm sorry, make a purse. Uh, and today I will be showing you how to make it with this hot pink velvet, because velvet yarn. So if you, buy uh, our yarn and you're ready let's get started okay let's get started so place the yarn in front of you like that this is the tail this is walking yarn walking yarn goes on the top make a loop insert your hand inside the loop grab walking yarn and pull this loop up holding this two part of the strings together so here we are. We made just our first loop, first stitch, and now pull working yarn down to make this loop a little bit smaller. We'll have it about two inches, maybe an inch and a half. Insert your hand inside, grab working yarn, and pull the next stitch out. So we now have two stitches. Uh, try to make stitches about the same size. See, they're the same size. And now we will be making four more stitches, guys, because this uh, purse will be made with six stitches. So I will be uh, pressing the bottom of the yarn uh, of the stitch, then insert my hand inside the stitch, grab walking yarn, and pull it out. I have three stitches now. Then the same, press the yarn, uh, press the stitch on the bottom, uh, and pull next stitch out. So we have one, two, three, four, and we need to make two more, five and six. So here we are, we have six stitches. What are we doing now? Now we are placing the yarn on the back and we will be uh, knitting this first stitch. Insert your hand, grab walking yarn, pull it out. Next stitch, we will be using the top part of the stitches. Insert your hand, grab walking yarn, pull it out. Next stitch, the same. Insert your hand, grab walking yarn, pull it out. So then do the same for all six stitches. So here we are, we have six stitches done. Now we're turning our chain on another side. What are we doing now? We are 
knitting these six stitches on the other side. So this uh, knot will be hidden, so don't worry about it. So take this t uh, next uh, bottom part of the stitch, now it's top, uh, because we flipped it, and uh, insert uh, your fingers or hand, grab walking yarn, and pull it out. Now you have two stitches, one in front of another. And then we will do the same for the next stitches. Next stitches. Here we are. So we now have six stitches on each side. We're turning it on another side and we will keep knitting a uh, second row now. Insert your hand, grab walking yarn, pull it out. And we will be uh, trying to make stitches on a smaller size because then the purse will not be too holy. And here we are, we're going to the next row on the other side. The same way guys, grab walking yarn, pull it out. It's a simple knitting stitch. And after this row, we will uh, fold the purse. Okay, so here we are. So what are we doing? We are turning purse on this side and folding it because that's how the purse will look when it's done. It's a little bit tricky, but uh, that's what we will need to do. The tail is still here. So this was the last stitch. Now we're going uh, in this next stitch and we're simply, uh, I will cut this tail because it's on the way. And let's tuck it in that it wouldn't be on the way. Here you go. So, and now we will simply knitting around the chain, turning the purse from one side to another. So see, we just made one side and now we turned it and we are knitting the next side. Same way guys, simple knitting stitch. Just try to keep stitches close to each other and on the smaller side uh, to avoid big uh, openings between the stitches. So uh, as you remember, we started with six stitches and it's uh, uh, simply simple to remember we will be making six rows. So this is our row number four, one, two, three, four. And see, we are simply knitting it and then turning it on another side. And this is row, row number four and this one. And so I will keep knitting for two more rows this way, guys. And then when I am done, I will come back and I will show you what we will be doing next. Okay, guys, so we made six rows, one, two, three, four, five, six, the same on another side. What are we doing now? Now we will need to measure six again. See, it's easy to remember, six stitches, six rows, and now six widths of this purse. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now cut. And now we will start inserting the tail of this yarn uh, inside of all these stitches. So this is our last stitch. Insert, uh, make sure that you're inserting all stitches in the same uh, direction, guys. So this is the stitch, see it looks like a chain. You will be going from uh, right to the left. So try not to twist them, just keep them open. The chain is open and then from uh, right to the left or from inside out you are inserting all uh, yarn in all of the stitches on this side now pull here we are this is our last stitch okay so this is how we did and now turn on another side and do the same 
this is the chain uh, stitch looking like a chain from inside out to all stitches and then here's the lump and then pull here you go here you are so what are we doing now we are simply assemble the stitches that they would look good and you would need to make uh, you can also to spread these stitches on the purse itself and uh, try to make them all on the top about uh, the same uh, distance between each other like that and keep it in, su in, that in such way that you could actually use it you could put stuff in your purse so now the uh, handle what are we doing now we are now here's what uh, on the side let me put it like that that you could see it better so what are we doing now we are inserting this uh, tail inside this stitch see it's inserted uh, here we insert it inside this one like that and now we are going inside see there is a stitch here we are going inside and we are grabbing our walking yarn can you see me doing it so this is this last stitch go inside grab walking yarn and pull the stitch out see it, what we did we are continuing this beautiful chain and now when we have this stitch out here we will simply make a chain the same as when we started our purse so your hand is inside the stitch grab walking yarn pull it out see what we're doing we're doing stitch by stitch by stitch so simple uh, cast on stitch and then we will keep a tail here the tail about 10 inches at least and what we will do guys we will insert this tail inside the last stitch okay like that so you have a handle now it's not a long handle if you want to make it longer then you will need to leave a longer uh, tail we left it six laps here you will need to make it longer it's up to you how long you want to make it so you can see that it looks pretty nice on the side here see it's like a chain and we'll try to do the same here so what are we doing we let me put it on the side here you go so this is the side over here the stitch what we will do we will find this stitches see on this chain and we will place the yarn uh, the handle on the top of the last between the last two stitches and then this tail will go underneath next two not this two on the top this two so we inserted it underneath and now tail let me cut this and now tail goes inside the stitch here we are see what we just did made this beautiful chain uh, looking very nice what do we do now <coughs> now we are simply inserting this tail uh, underneath like that and then you can uh, go inside and tuck it in between any stitches you see uh, and to make it completely uh, not movable I would probably uh, do some sewing with the needle so you can take a needle and a thread and sew this end uh, to one of the stitches like that but for now I just tuck it in and here we are our purse is ready here it is and see the tail came out so that's why it's probably good to uh, sew it inside so here we are this is our cute purse on one side and this is the other side spread us all stitches out nicely and then we can attach a pom-pom if you want uh, it's a cute purse without pom-pom but 
pompon will give it some uh, cuteness, some more cuteness. So here we are, guys. We are ready. This is a really cute purse. Uh, we have many colors available of our beautiful velvet yarn. Uh, go to becozy.net and find the, the color you like and make this beautiful purse. Stay, stay warm and be cozy. Hey guys, my hand knitting book is ready for you to purchase. It can be purchased at becozy.com and on Amazon and also available as a e Kindle. It's a perfect gift for yourself or your loved one. It's the most unique uh, gift and book on the knitting market.